This is the magic relief and not the solution I've been looking for all my life. I feel there is so much potential to cover big distances. The exploration potential of kiting is just crazy. Jérôme Josserand is going to teach me how to access a free ride line with a snow kite. Let's go and get the wind, huh? Yeah. Nice. Hello. Yeah, I put my kite in the wind, like that. And I put some snow on the hill. OK. Here. My wing is probably going to be a lot more messy. <laughs> <laughs> This is the magic ski lift and that's the solution I've been looking for all my life. This is freaking cool. So there are two techniques, the loop or the eight. The eight is more for beginning, where you kind of eight with your kite. But the problem is that it's going to go outside of your window, so you, it's not going to be a constant traction. The real good technique when you get better and you really want to go up the mountain is to do some loops, because it's going to be your kite is going to stay in the window and it's going to be a constant traction. In terms of harness, two options, either a water kite harness or a mountaineering harness. <laughs> Jerome told me about the potential, but today in 15 minutes we've covered a thousand meters of altitude. I just let you imagine the potential of the whole thing. Snow kiting is really easy to learn, but you need to know how to react in a dangerous situation. The first is let go the bar. If you have a problem, you let go the bar. And the second is the release. You pull it, flat, and look, it's, uh, it's really easy. If really things are going completely crazy, you're just going to release your leash and the kite can go away, but at least you're going to be safe. If you're a water kiter, you might find really easy to access the high alpines, but you need to take into consideration that there are some risks that are really different from the water. Oh. One particularity of going up with the wind is that you're in the wind, so you're not going to feel the wind itself, so you're not going to feel the power evolution. So it's important to do some breaks all the way up so that you can judge how the wind is increasing or decreasing. Ouais, pas trop sur la crête, so not too much on the on the crest. Okay. All right. One thing that struck me is that it's so easy that it's important for people to remember that all of a sudden in 10 minutes you can find yourself at the top of a mountain in high alpine conditions. So if you're good kite surfer on water, it's important to learn a lot about all the potential dangers in the mountains and all the procedures that you need to take to being able to be safe. Up and let go. So now nothing can happen. I'm safe. Pull the, the fifth line. It's going to be enough once you've pulled two meters and secured it. It's going to be enough to just pull all your kite all the way back to you. Pack the bad boy in the bag. Make sure you have a big enough bag. Up.
It's been an incredible day. It's been even beyond what I could expect. And to be honest, I think it's gonna change my way. I see the mountains. It's like a world opening to me. Yeah.